inside the Think Fast locker room, if you can find the matching pairs, then you've got what it takes to win cash and prizes worth over $2,100. But watch out, because somewhere inside lurks the ever-smelly red herring. Today on the gold team, it's Megan Eric. That was quite the introduction. That was quite a tongue twister. Welcome, everybody, to Think Fast. Let's hear it, audience. How are we doing today? Yeah! All right! You guys sound like you're doing great, and I hope you at home are doing well. Now it's time to meet our players. So on the goal team, we have Eric and Meg. Let's hear it for them. Eric loves golfing and soccer, and uh, Eric, I understand your father's a professional golfer. That must be kind of interesting. Yes. Yeah, well, uh, what kind of golfing do you normally do? do you, what's your favorite um, course you've ever played? Oh, I like Hunter's Creek. And Hunter's Creek. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, do you have a, much of a handicap? Oh, it's probably about 15 or a so. A 15. Okay, great. That's uh, welcome. And uh, Meg here loves horseback riding, volleyball, plays the drum and the sax, and she was telling me about a time when... Uh, her mother called her name out over the loudspeaker at a store to find her, and it kind of embarrassed her. That was, that was kind of embarrassing, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, that's our goal team. And now on to our blue team, uh, which is Trevor and Natalie. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Trevor plays soccer and runs track, and he... Oh, uh, Trevor, you also do one other athletic thing. What is that? Taekwondo. Taekwondo. What, what uh, belt are you? Black. You're a black belt in Taekwondo. Yep. Wow, that is great. Well, welcome. And Natalie also runs track and plays softball. And uh, she said the strangest thing that happened to you was what? I was trying to learn how to speak English when I first moved here. Well, where'd you move here from? Spain. Spain? In yeah. Spain? And uh, you mentioned earlier that you were um, from... I was born in Colombia, but I lived in Spain for a year, and then I lived here. All right, quite the world traveler. Well, welcome, everybody. Let's hear it for our teams. <laughs> This is how we play Think Fast. Our two teams will compete in a variety of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical agility. If they win an event, they earn cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast brain bender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes in the locker room. So let's play our first event, which is called the Leaning Tower of Things. What we have here are we have a couple of identical piles of assorted junk. Like we have uh, a skateboard and an ugly fly and some shoes. And what our two teams have to do is stack this stuff up as high as they possibly can if, uh, on these X's right here. And if the stuff topples over, they just have to continue starting stacking again. Uh, you're racing against the clock, so the team with the tallest tower when time runs out wins. Let's put a minute up on the clock. All right, when you're ready, think fast. Go to it. Stack it as tall as you can, guys. The goal team thinks they have a good idea of what to do. They're making a quick stack there. They're uh, building that up. Oh, the, it looks like the blue team is doing the exact same thing over here. The tallest stack at the end of the time wins. These objects are a little tough to stack, so it takes quite the finesse. Oh, the blue team's getting up there. Come on, guys. Let's hear it for them out the audience. Let's hear it for them. All right. You guys only have 30 seconds left. You have 30 seconds left. You might want to build a little bit of a taller stack. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ooh. Oh, they're trying, the blue team is trying the globe thing here. They're, oh, oh, it's about to fall. They're a little, they're a little unsure. You got 13 seconds, guys. 13 seconds. Keep it going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nine seconds left. Build it up. Keep it going. The goal team is trying to catch back up. It looks like four, three, two, one. The blue team wins the 50 bucks in cash. Gold team, you were doing good. It was so close until the end, and then it fell over. But the blue team, come on down here. You guys won the 50 bucks cash, and you get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender, which today is a celebrity photo. We're going to show you a, a, a picture of a famous person, and we're going to reveal a clue. And what you have to do is try to tell us who it is. So let's take a look at the Brain Bender right now. Let's reveal a clue.
All right, do you guys have any idea who that is? No. No, no guess, all right? Well, no guess, okay? And the judges said no guess is not correct. So let's go on to the next event. It's over here. Come on. Our next event is called Tic Tac Cat. And it's our own Think Fast version of Tic Tac Co Toe, only it's Tic Tac Cat. What we have here is a big Tic Tac Co Toe board, and I'm going to be asking you cat-related questions. A correct answer earns you the right to pick a square and take one of these cats, either gold or blue, right here, and you'll put it up on the board. Three across in any direction wins, and if we don't have three across at the end of the game, the team with the most correct answers will win. All right? Uh, buzz in as soon as you know the answer, and then we'll get you to put one up there. Here's your first question. What is the name of the feline musical running on Broadway now and forever? Gold. Cats. Cats, that's correct. So take a cat and place it up there on the tic-tac-toe board. There you go. All right. Going for that center square right off the bat. Here's your next question. Dr. Seuss created a cat that lived... In the gold. hat. In the hat. That, that created a cat that lived in one of these. All right. Very good. Come on here, Blue. This could be a quick one. We buy it by the 10-pound bag, and our kitty is very... Blue. Cat litter. Cat litter is correct, and our kitty is very relieved that we do. Ooh, the pressure was on. He did the, did the block there. Here's your next question. When a cat of this particular color crosses your path... Gold. Black. Black is right. When a cat of this particular color crosses your path, you could be in for some serious bad luck. Very good. It's a tight game going on here. All right, Blue. The cat that Alice met in Wonderland. The cat that Alice met in Wonderland. Three seconds. All right. All right. The cat that Alice met in Lund Wonderland was the Cheshire Cat. All right, let's move on to our next question. The cat that Dorothy met on the road to Oz. The cat that Dorothy met on the road to Oz. The Blue. Lion. The, the lion, the cowardly lion, that's correct. Oh, for the block. Here's the next question. Cat that Detroit's baseball team is named after. Go. Tiger. The Tigers, that's right. Here we go. This big jungle cat is usually black, but in the movies, blue. Panther. Uh, the Panther is right. In the movies, he's usually pink. Woo, we got a close game going here. Next question. C-A-T are the first three letters of this word that means disaster. Blue. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. All right. One more question. You can spot this cat a mile away if you can see his spots. Blue. Tiger. No, it's not a tiger. Gold, do you have a, a, a guess? Oh. You can spot this cat a mile away if you can see his spots. Three seconds. Oh. Three seconds. All right. One more question. Female nemesis of Batman. Blue. Cat woman. The cat woman. Okay, place it up there. So let's see what we've got. Uh, there is no, nobody won with the three across, so let's count them. Gold has one, two, three, four correct answers. And blue has one, two, three, four, five. Blue wins! Come on down here! Come on down here, Trevor. Come on down here, buddy. All right, now you get a chance at looking at the Think Fast Brain, brain Bender, I can't even say it today, uh, and remind you that it's a celebrity photo, all right? So let's take a look at the Brain Bender. Okay, Trevor, what do you think? Do you have any guess? No idea. No, that, that was a tough clue. All right, but we, you won the 50 bucks for that event, which means the gold team is, uh, has nothing, and the blue team has 100. Let's move on to our next event. Our next event is called Pink Catchers, and it's one of my favorite events. We've got one of our team players up here dressed in a catcher's outfit, and what their partner will do will go over here and they'll grab one of their colored paint balloons and they'll toss it at their partner and break it against this chest protector right here. All right, the first player throws one color, and then their opponent will throw the same color and they'll add a color, and we'll go back and forth building a sequence until one of them forgets the correct order of sequence. All right, so guys, uh, you're going to be pitching, so come on over here. Cross over it here. You got that? All right, and since uh, the gold team is behind, you're going to be able to throw first, all right? So go ahead and pick a color and throw it. Whoa, very good. Now pick a color. There you go. And add one. 
There you go. All right. Go ahead, Gold. Oh. Oh. Okay, go ahead, Blue. Oh, well, you forgot to add one. Go ahead, Gold. This is a messy game here. Oh, in the head. Okay, now add one. There you go. All right, Gold. And you need to add one. Oh, it's getting long here. <laughs> they are aggressively throwing these balloons. And add one, and add one. All right, keep it going. Blue wins! The blue wins! I think what happened was you forgot that you did it out of the correct order. All right, come on down here. Come on down here there, Natalie. Very good. All right, you guys get a shot at the Think Best Brain Bender. Let's come on right down here. I want to remind everybody, it's a celebrity photo. So let's take a look. Let's reveal a piece. Do you guys have any idea? Take a guess. No oh, guess. All right, no guess. Well, uh, the score is, I want to remind everybody, the score is gold, nothing, blue, 150. And when we come back, dollar values are doubled. So we'll be right back with more Think Fast after this. Don't go away. Welcome back to Think Fast. Here we are, and I want to remind everybody what the score is. Blue has 150. Gold's not on the board yet. But now that we've got everybody cleaned up, we're going to round two, where all dollar values are doubled. So let's go ahead and play our next event, which is called Mind Boggling. What we have here is we have two huge piles of lettered cubes. And what our team players have to do is they have to place those cubes inside this uh, grid here in a crisscrossing fashion to spell as many words as they can. The most words wins. And in the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by the most letters used in accepted words. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, uh, before I start, no proper names, like Tom, Sue, something like that, okay? You ready? Think fast! Go to it! All right, both of our teams are digging to try to find out some specific letters to spell the word. The blue team looks like they're going after the word first. Oh, they just dropped it. Oh, and she's got one word up there she's looking for. Let's see how we go. And let's see how the gold team is doing. Oh, she's, she's starting to spell the word, but she put it down. There, there she goes. She's trying to be she's looking for specific letters. All right, guys, spell as many words as you can. As many words as you can. You have 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left, guys. Let's take a look at the gold and see how they did. Let's take a look, Meg, right here. All right, we have, I think you were going for memory, right? Is that what you were trying to spell? Okay, uh, and let's take a look at the blue and see how they did. Okay, they've got kiss and they've got keep. And what is that middle word there? Psych. Psych. All right. All right, and the judges are saying it's a word, it's a word. Okay, blue has got three. Uh, gold didn't get any words, so blue wins. They win the 100 points. Way to go. Come on down here, Natalie. All right, you won the 100 points, and you get a shot at today's Brain Bender. I want to remind everybody, it's a celebrity picture. All right, so let's reveal another piece. Do you have any idea who that is? No. No idea. Okay, that's all right. You still won 100 bucks, which means the score is now blue 250. Gold's not on the board yet, but we're going to our next event. Let's do it. next event is called Flog, which of course is golf spelled backwards. What we have here is we have a miniature golf hole. And what our players have to do is they have to sh take a shot out on the links there, and they'll go over the hump, and they'll go around the curly cue, and they'll go through that little bridge there and try to put it in the hole. The first team to sink their ball wins. The only thing is their partner 
has to answer a, a question. We're going to show them words, and they have to identify the word, the backwards word correctly, okay? So we'll start over here at the podiums. You guys buzz in as soon as you recognize that backward word, all right? Here's your first one. Let's see it. Okay, Brother. Gold. What was it? Brother. Brother is correct. Okay. Gold gets to take the shot. He's making a putt. It's going around the curly cue. Let's see how far that comes out. But it's coming out. Oh, yes. He's right in the middle of the green. Oh, it's taking a little roll backwards. There it goes. It's stopping. Very good. Okay, let's show our next word. Gold. Three Rainbow. Seconds. Rainbow is correct. Okay, go ahead and take another shot. Go ahead and take another shot, Eric. He's lining up for his putt. Ooh, he makes a very good putt. It pulls to the right a little bit. Very good. Okay, let's show our next word before we do. Before we do. Oh, go ahead. Baseball. Okay. Okay, that, okay, baseball is correct. Go ahead, Eric. Very good. The gold wins. Boy, that was over very quickly. Come on down here. Come on down here, go. Come on over here, Eric. Come on down here. Boy, you guys got that done very quickly. Very good. All right. Let's take another look at the brain bender. It's worth 200 bucks. Reveal a piece. I know Michael it. J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. Okay, the gold is saying, is it Michael J. Fox? <laughs> yes, it is. Which means you got it. That's Michael J. Fox. Exactly. Very good. You guys got the 200 points, the 200 ca cash, which means the score is now gold is 300. Blue has 250. Gold's going to the locker room. Yes. Come on over here, Natalie and Trevor. Come on. Stand right here, guys. Stand right here. Come on. Over here. Come here. You guys played a great game. Hang on. Here we are. Come on over here, Trevor. Right here. Okay, good. You guys played a great game. You won a lot of cash there. You guys get to split that money, and you want to claim. And from Converse, Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to just hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you're ever going to need. Right, Skip? Amazing. Come on from behind victory with Eric and Meg. They're going to the locker room right into these messages, so stay with us. Let's do it. room with Meg and Eric. They've earned the right to go in that mad dash for cash and prizes. Here's how we do it. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside those lockers, we have seven matching pairs. We'll put one minute on the time clock, and what you guys have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as possible in the allotted time. A locker door will open up, and whoever or whatever pops out, you guys have to find the mate. The first four matches are worth 100 bucks a piece. The next three are worth these great prizes that Henry's going to tell us about right now. Meg and Eric, today's grand prize package includes the Veriflex roller skate, skateboard, and all steel triple frame strata scooter, complete with elbow and knee pads. Veriflex, a fun way to get around. And then when you want to exercise your brain, from the publishers of Encyclopedia Britannica comes Children's Britannica. Easy to use and understand with exciting color pictures. Children's Britannica provides you with the very best right from the very start. And if you make all seven matches, you'll receive the Explorer from Head Start Computers, the amazing family computer that's loaded with software. Head Start, the leader in home computers. Good luck in the locker room. Okay, but you guys have to watch out because inside one of these lockers is the dreaded red herring. The red herring is a character that has no match at all so if you think you found him you got to run over here yank on the herring handle which will shut up the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching let's remind the audience at home who the big red one is today okay our audience at home gets to see that are you ready Meg yes okay let's open up a locker and see who she has to match I'm a pussy cat and I don't want to be last so find my partner and do it fast Meow. Okay, you're looking for that other cat. Let's put one minute on the time clock. Watch out. Get ready. Think fast. Go for it, Meg. Make those matches.
guys got all seven matches. And that's wonderful. Henry J, tell them what they won. Megan Eric, you did it. You went all the way. Each of you received $400 in cash, plus the Veriflex package, the Children's Encyclopedia Britannica, and the Head Start Explorer computer and monitor. A prize package worth $1,888.75 each. Oh, way to go. A great prize package. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you happy you won? Yeah. Did you think you could do it? Do you ever think you can win everything? No. You know, it's really tough to do what you're doing back here. And these guys won. They got it all. All seven matches. Congratulations. Give yourselves some applause there. Yeah. Way to go. They did a great job. Okay, this is Skip Blackie coming to you from Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida at Universal Studios. And it's, I just want to say that if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Congratulations, guys. is taped in front of a live audience at Nickelodeon Studios located at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. I'm the master